Ramadan is the most sacred month of Islam. For 30 days, Muslims fast from dawn to dusk. Challenging as it is, for professional athletes, it can even be harder. So how do they handle the delicate balance between their job and their faith? So basically, when you don't eat the whole day, you are a bit weaker. So it affects somehow in your performance. Uh, but still, as uh, I said, you can, you can play while you're fasting. Although you cannot play on the same, uh, like the, with the same energy you always use when you're not fasting. From a religious angle, the answer seems straightforward. But as the artisan Jackie Immaculate Chirabo explains, science suggests otherwise. A footballer requires extra calories because they burn more calories than the normal people. Not just even footballers, but every athlete. And for football in itself, it's, it's, it requires energy. You burn about um, 1,500 to 2,000 calories in a game. So they need about uh, 3,200 to 4,000 calories. It also depends on the individual. Fasting can be delayed as long as it is made up for at another time, especially with a tangible reason. Mugera says this depends on the intensity and magnitude of the game. Yes, I've missed uh, two, two days. We had uh, a game at 2 p.m. and uh, that is one of the games I didn't fast. And I think there were two games at 2 p.m. So I had to break my fast and I'll, I'll repay the, the two days. In the game days, they always ask us not to fast because they, they need us to give 100%. Ramadan found KCCFC in an intense chase for the league with Vipers. Assistant coach Badru Kadumukasa took us through ways the club handles its players during this period, as they still had much to play for. So when we are preparing them, we only cut some time, maybe sometimes we, we cut the times, but the intensity remains the same. It's only the durations we cut, owing to what we, are, we want for in the next match. Uh, when we are training here, it, it takes about two hours at most, but sometimes it's 45 minutes to one hour. So uh, to, when we increase the intensity, that means we are using a lot of speed. It is a high tempo, so we cut the time. If we are doing a very big volume, we want them to run around and we are looking at extensive endurance or build building, then the time will be higher. Although they don't have a placed facility to cater for prayers, Badru says they were offered one of the buildings at the stadium as their worship place. Chirabo highlights some of the benefits of fasting, especially to athletes. Most of the, the energy that would have been digesting food and all that is, is focused for, now the brain. So it increases at least the brain performance. That this person, let me say, as they're passing the ball, they would be having a higher efficiency, though they may not have the energy. So what we need to do is make sure that you eat enough when you're breaking your fast. Prioritizing faith has led Mugera to break some of his traditional day-to-day -day norms as a player. Uh, before, when, when you finish training here, you would go somewhere or you go and chill with your friends. But now this time when you're fasting, the only thing you can do is after training, either you go home or you go to the mosque and spend the day there. Ah!